Want to know more about verbal learners? Or maybe you're looking for some study tips because you're a verbal learner yourself. You're in the right place. My name is Janice and you're watching Sharp Cookie. This is the channel for learning, studying, and test taking advice. So please subscribe and you'll get new videos every week. In this channel, you always get real tips from a real tutor. I've taught several hundred students and what I've learned is most kids fall into a category of one of four learning styles, and those are audio, verbal, kinesthetic, and visual. So if you're interested in learning about other types of learning styles, and many of us are more than one, we might have a dominant one, but then we might also have other styles that we show traits in, please check out my other videos. And if you're a teacher, this is going to help you even more because what I do is I tailor my tutoring sessions to the student. So if my student is primarily a visual learner, I teach a concept in a very different way than if they were a kinesthetic learner. Okay, so let's get started. Verbal learners are also known as linguistic learners. They like languages. They like to communicate. They enjoy discussions. Most of them have really extensive vocabularies. So the verbal learning type people, they like word games. They might love Scrabble. They like crossword puzzles. They like learning new languages. I know my friends that are verbal learners, they know probably four different languages. Verbal learners also like wordplay, rhymes, and puns. They really like participating in discussions, and they would rather do that than just sit back and listen to a lecture. Verbal learners hate it when their environment is dead silence. Sometimes they'll talk just to fill up the space, or they'll hum to themselves quietly, or maybe tap their pencil. Now, every learning style has its own strengths and weaknesses. So for verbal learners, some of their weaknesses tend to be visual information, like graphs, diagrams, maps. They might have a harder time understanding what visual data is trying to communicate. The other area they might have trouble with is spelling. So they might be really good at communicating their ideas, but they might struggle when they have to actually write them down or when they need to spell. So does any of this sound like you? What are your strengths? What are your challenges if you're a verbal learner? Or maybe your child is and you've had certain strengths and challenges that you've observed in them. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about this description. All right, now here are my eight study tips for verbal learners. Number one, talk it out. So verbal learners like to be verbal. They like to communicate. So don't be embarrassed. Even when you're by yourself, just talk things out loud or whisper them if people are nearby. I've even had students on test just mouth out while they read. And sometimes verbal learners already do this because they find out that they understand and comprehend what they're reading better when they mouth it out. So I would encourage you, be verbal, talk things out while you study. Tip number two, join a study group. So because verbal learners are so great at talking things out, they're going to really excel. So not only are you going to find this fun and maybe make a new friend, but you're going to learn more if you're discussing it and talking about it with someone else. So make sure to join a study group or make your own. Tip number three, Use dictation software. So almost every word processor these days, I know Google Docs has one if you're using Chrome, you can just talk and it'll automatically dictate on the sheet what you're saying. And therefore, you don't have to worry about typing things out. You don't have to busy your mind with spelling. You can just do what you do best, which is verbalize. So next time you have an essay or you have to write a paper, try to just talk out loud and let Google Docs or whatever software you're using type it out for you. Tip number four, listen to background music. So I mentioned earlier that verbal learners usually don't like dead silence. So I find that when I have a verbal learner in front of me and I ask them to start writing an essay, for example, if I put on background music, everything goes much smoother. There's less resistance, often there's a better essay, 
And the type of background music does matter. I usually do not use anything with lyrics because they can be distracting. So you could just go on YouTube and just search for study music and you'll find a lot of great things that are sort of in the background, you don't notice them, but they stop you from having that dead silence that makes you uncomfortable. Tip number five, make up songs and rhymes. When you make up a song, you're much more likely to remember it. So yes, maybe this is embarrassing for you to think that you're gonna make a little song or a rhyme about your next science test, but I promise you, it will really help if you do this because you will hear it in your head. And because you like lyrics and music, this will work really well for you. Tip number six, teach. Verbal learners make excellent teachers to begin with, but when you teach, you actually learn the material even deeper yourself, so you're benefiting from it as well. And I've seen this in myself too. The more I teach certain subjects, I just keep getting more and more deeper and into it and know more facts about it than I ever did before. So I promise you, if you teach it and you're forced to say it out loud to someone else, you're much more likely to remember it, especially if you're a verbal learner. So find a friend, a family member, maybe a brother or sister. You can even do this on the phone and just tell them, hey, I'm learning about this topic in school. Can I teach it to you? Tip number seven is listen. So part of being a verbal learner is not only discussing, but also listening. And verbal learners tend to be great listeners. So try finding maybe a YouTube video or a podcast on the topic you're trying to learn more about and listen instead of reading. And my last tip, tip number eight, and that is always play to your strengths. So as a verbal learner, now you know what you're good at and what's challenging for you. So make sure you always try to focus on your strengths and play to your strengths. And what I mean by that is when you're given a choice of learning in different ways, choose the one that works for you. For example, maybe a professor says, hey, you can either write a paper on this topic or you can give a classroom presentation. Now, if you're a verbal learner, you should definitely choose to give the class presentation. That is where your strengths lie, and that is what's going to be a lot easier for you. If it's not an option, then talk to your teacher or professor about it. Just say, hey, I really know this information, but I think I can communicate it verbally a lot more than putting it down on paper. Is it okay if my final is a verbal presentation to the class instead of a written report? And see what they say. You never know. It can't hurt. And that's it. Those are my eight tips if you're a verbal learner. So now that you've heard it all, I would love for you to join my online community. It's called Sharp Cookie Community, and it's on Facebook. It would be great if you joined because then we could communicate, ask each other questions, and together we can become better learners. Also, if you're interested in one-on-one tutoring, that's something I offer in person or online. So if you're interested in that, email me at hellosharpcookie at gmail.com. And lastly, I would love for you to watch my other videos on the different types of learners. So learn about kinesthetic learners, learn about how they study, how they perform in groups. It's really good to know what everyone's learning style is. And if you're a teacher, this is even more important. Or a parent. If you're a parent, you really want to know what learning style your child is. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Let me know. Also, subscribe. I post new videos every week on learning, studying, and test taking. I promise there is some valuable information there for you. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Janice. Bye.